because it sounds, it sounds like, like a step which needed severe disciplinary action. But my question is today, you've testified as to their motive, and you stated you don't believe that they did something for wrong reasons. You, 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 I, I, I won't use Mr. Caputo's word of mistake, although I think you did use that. How would you know that if you haven't directly taken the time to speak to them to understand? So ba based on the explanations offered. Well, that's is, all secondhand. That's all hearsay. Re you, you've come here to testify on behalf of CTV, and you didn't actually take the time yourself in what you describe yourself as an incredibly serious incident, one that was very embarrassing to the network. Why wouldn't you have not personally taken the time to meet with these two people to understand? Have you reviewed previous, uh, previous footage um, of this reporter and of this other of this producer to check to see whether they did this in any other occasion. Have you gone back to previous footage? Uh, no, there there have. But never why? Been any why would you have not gone back? To, never. Like, like if I know somebody's done something wrong and I know it's incredibly serious, wouldn't I want to go back and see if they've done it before? Like, I mean, you only had to randomly look at, you know, let's say take 10 of 100 uh, of, of, the, of the different uh, stories covered by this reporter to, to look at that. 